name is Ken Stokey, and I'm one of the principal investigators of the Nice equipment site at the University of Texas. Uh, we are part of the George E. Brown Jr. Network for Earthquake Eng Engineering Simulation that the National Science Foundation has funded. There are 15 equipment sites around the United States, and we're very happy to have one located at the University of Texas. We, in fact, specialize in mobile shaking equipment used to dynamically load through the soil, soil or structure. Uh, we have three pieces of equipment uh, that are our primary mobile shakers. Number one is the triaxial shaker that we call T-Rex. The second one is a, a, a bi-directional shaker that we call liquidator T-Rex. You can shake in all three directions, not simultaneously, but sequentially just by hitting a button and it only takes a couple seconds before you go from one mode to the other. Liquidator, it takes a couple days to reorient it, but it can be oriented to either go vertically, which we typically have it in, or horizontally. The third shaker is called Thumper. It's a small one. The first two are on off-road vehicles. The third one, Thumper, is on a small truck, small flatbed truck, that uh, we can use in urban areas without disturbing the surrounding structures. So it's really uh, meant to be used in cities or right around cities, whereas the other two are meant to be used more in open areas, large open areas. We have a data acquisition system, uh, instrumentation band contains that and also contains capabilities for telepresence, uh, viewing, and participation uh, with a satellite to link up so that uh, we can transmit data to and from the site to other parts of the United States. To move the two large shakers around the country, we have a big rig, we call it, uh, that's uh, a 22-wheeler that we put either T-Rex or Liquidator on and we go from site to site. This is a shared-use facility that uh, we are very much looking forward to having other investigators from different universities around the United States working with it. I'd like to start out by talking about earthquakes in general as a way of uh, uh, giving a background for earthquake engineering. So we'll start with uh, the world and inside the earth in the mantle we have radioactive elements which are generating heat as they decay. And so the heat inside the earth would become uh, enough to melt the inside of the earth unless there was some way for it to escape. And so what happens inside the earth is the hot material moves to the surface in a convection process that's similar to what goes on in the pot of oatmeal on the stove. And as the stuff moves, the hot uh, material moves to the surface, it moves the rigid crustal plates around. And so on the Earth's surface, we have uh, a number of plates which are uh, sliding around relative to each other and which uh, divide the ocean basins. And in the United States, most of the United States is on the, the North American plate. And uh, there, are, there is a small region on the west coast which is on the Pacific plate. And so generation of earthquakes occurs because the plates don't slide smoothly, but they stick, and then the energy is released. And so that's the uh, cause of earthquakes in California and, and the western U.S. So in our study here, we're using uh, the equipment to measure the strength of materials by generating waves that are same types of waves generated in an earthquake, but of smaller magnitude. But we're going to use the speeds of those waves, measure those speeds to actually get a, the strength of the uh, soil and near the, near the surface to, as a way of understanding the, uh, the shear strength and then the resistance of that site to uh, shaking during an earthquake.
About 150 Highland Park Elementary School kids experienced the effects of a minor earthquake today. It's all thanks to a UT professor of civil engineering and his research group's project, which is nicknamed T-Rex. Fox 7 photojournalist Vinnie Berry shows us how T-Rex works. What are the things you already know about earthquakes, and what are the things you'd like to know about earthquakes? Understanding how the earth moves is the first thing you need in order to understand how to build better buildings and bridges that don't fall down. Well, let's start out now by shaking the earth. Oh, that's very good, very good. We have a mobile equipment site that we have developed as part of this program that we go around the United States investigating soil and rock deposits to characterize them in terms of their stiffness and their nonlinearity in terms of how they would perform during earthquake shaking. The source of earthquakes then is, uh, is the heat inside the earth trying to get out, moving the crustal plates around, and the main events are at the plate boundaries and also at the plate boundaries are places where we have volcanoes. When the earth started to move, the water would start going up and it would come out of the pan. The plate shift and the earth comes by and the building went down and tipped over. And it just went down and tipped over because this sand densified because of all that earthquake shaking. When you go through things in the classroom, they learn from those. Uh, but when you can take them on field trips to see actual situations that they're learning about, it's, they never forget that. The purpose is, in the end, so that we can design safer structures.